today on how countertops are made, we're talking post-form laminate. First, the raw core gets run through the rip saw. It gets cut to the size required for that day. From there, it runs through the core builder that forms edge profiles onto the core itself. including the 180 nose, the square wrap, and the eased wrap. The core and laminate sheet meet up at the glue sprayer. And this is where the countertop really starts to take shape. The core and the sheet run through the sprayer, through a heat tunnel, and onto the layout table. Pins are set exactly where the laminate sheet needs to be for that particular top. Once complete, the core and the sheet together run through a press to ensure a firm fit and to get all the air out before going on to the post former. The post former heats up the laminate sheet on both edges roughly to 300 degrees. The rollers and the bars will then shape that laminate to the core. Towards the end of the post former, a small slit will be made in the core just beneath the laminate on one side. This forms the backsplash side. A heat bar from the coving machine goes right along that cut on the bottom side of the core. It heats the laminate and a bar will slowly come up and form the backsplash. A cove stick will then fill that void in the bottom of the core. And from there, we send it on to the next stage, which is cutting. We have a large miter saw we use to shape our countertops into L and U shapes for residential kitchens and bathroom orders. We also fulfill our blank orders for customers around Winnipeg and other customers throughout Western Canada. And that's it. That's how post-form countertops are made here in Winnipeg at Flowform Countertop.